Filmic Pro V6 is a massive update and makes the best pro video app on iOS even better. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my top 5 best new features that you should check out for advanced video capture. First up are the brand new manual arc sliders, which can be revealed by swiping in from the sides, a gesture which is intuitive and feels instantly familiar. The beauty of the new arc sliders is that you can now adjust both focus and exposure at the same time which wasn't possible in V5, as well as get fine grain control thanks to a large amount of travel in each slider. To hide and return to the standard reticle mode, just swipe the arc sliders back out to lock and close. Next we have focus peaking which can be enabled by turning on live analytics and when using the manual focus arc slider, it applies a responsive focus peaking that demonstrates critical focus in green and this makes it super easy to get razor sharp focus every time, then fades out the peaking when you release the slider. If you want to toggle this on permanently, you can tap to enable the focus peaking overlay option at the top which desaturates the image making perfect focus a breeze, and it's not until you try this for yourself that you'll understand just how incredibly useful it is. To return to the responsive analytics mode, tap the focus peaking button again. Along with focus peaking, Filmic Pro V6 also includes three new live analytics exposure overlays, which makes obtaining perfect exposure easy. With live analytics enabled, you can tap to turn on the zebra overlay, which will show overexposure in red and underexposure in blue. This makes it really easy to ensure you avoid clipped highlights. You can also tap to apply the clipping overlay, which represents complete data loss in the highlights in red and blue for the shadows. The last and most impressive exposure overlay is false color, and this uses green to represent correct exposure, red for overexposure, and blue for underexposure. And once you get used to using the new live analytics, you'll find them invaluable when it comes to correctly exposing your shot. Tap on false color again at the top to turn it off. Possibly one of the most exciting V6 features is the all new log mode, which can be enabled by tapping the imaging button, then selecting the tone panel and choosing log. Filmic Pro is the first app to bring this professional feature usually reserved for high-end video cameras to the iPhone, and as you can see it increases the dynamic range by boosting the shadow detail and pushing down the highlights. Whilst the recorder file looks flat and desaturated, this gives you the most flexibility in post-production to color grade your footage for filmic results. And if you want to see just how powerful this feature is, check the link in the description for an incredible demo clip. And finally, a very cool new feature that is easy to overlook is the brand new ISO bias slider, which can be accessed on the exposure arc slider. In simplest terms, you can use the ISO bias slider to specify a low, medium or high ISO sensitivity range. This is perfect if you want noise free shots regardless of available light. Set the ISO bias to its lowest setting, which uses an ISO range of 22 to 44 to produce the cleanest video. Once set, dragging the manual exposure arc slider will dynamically calculate an ISO shutter speed combination, so that the ISO value never exceeds the maximum range value of 44. So these are my top 5 best new features in Filmic Pro V6, and I'd love to hear what yours are in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a like, share, and of course subscribe for more. If you want to learn to shoot cinematic video using Filmic Pro V6, then make sure you check out my Jumpstart Guide to get up and running as quickly as possible, and sign up for my free in-depth course, The Epic Guide to Filmic Pro V6 at epictutorials.com. I've left a link in the description, and it's the best way for you to fully master this incredible app. Thanks a lot for watching, my name's Elliot Fitzroy for Epic Tutorials.